I'm John Holmes, the owner of Holmes Hobbies, and today's vid is going to be a quick tech tip on laminations. <laughs> All right. When you say lamb, some people think of bah. But I'm talking about laminations on a motor. So in between, let's just say the Trailmaster Sport line, this armature, and the Torque Master Expert line, you can visually see that the laminations are thicker on the sport motors, whereas they're much thinner on the expert motors. And the thinner laminations are a much higher quality material, but they're also higher quality as far as construction of the armature. Now, what do thinner laminations do? The laminations, the, the actual rotor part of the armature, the laminations will have a little bit of losses inside, and that's generally called uh, steel losses or eddy currents from within the lamination itself. And when you have thinner laminations, the electricity can't go as far, or technically the magnetism, can't go as far to induce electrical currents inside. And so you get a little bit of an insulative uh, layer in between each one of these laminations, and you end up with less no-load losses. So when you're just running your motor, there's going to be an amp draw, whether or not you're doing any work, and that's the no-load loss. When you have an armature with thinner laminations, you have less no-load loss, and the motor can produce more power because it has essentially just less heat doing nothing inside of the armature. And if you also look at the way that these are balanced, the more expensive Torque Master Expert has less no-load losses because of this right here as opposed to that. Now, in our hand-wound motors, we don't even have any drill balancing. Uh, we just put some putty, some epoxy. Let's see. Uh, yeah, we have one with epoxy balance. The epoxy balancing has even less no-load losses. And the reason for that is that when you do these little drill points, you actually dead short all of the laminations together unless you go back through and throw these guys in an acid bath. But since you have to balance them afterwards, you know, it's, it's already manufactured essentially, then you drill balance or you epoxy balance. We couldn't throw this into a nitric acid bath to etch out where those little dead shorts are because it would just it'd ruin the rest of the armature. So that's not really an option. But as you can see, there's just a really small section to where these guys are shorted together. And it's not a huge deal, but you know, when you're counting all the little stuff for a nice motor, it makes a difference. And then on these, you can see that there's a very wide swath that they took out for the, for the balancing. And it, it's shorting a lot of laminations together. And it's still a very small layer where it's getting shorted together, but it does make a difference on the no load losses. This would increase the no load losses more than this and this one would have higher no load losses as opposed to that sort of balancing. So that's just a quick tech tip, <laughs> a quick tech tip on uh, laminations and what they do for an armature and what no load losses are within the laminations.